Gladiators, welcome back to Tank Drills. It's been a while since our last lesson on King's Row, and I trust that you've all become the pros that I expect you to be. If not, well, you can leave right now and go watch that lesson. Ooh, get hyped. <sighs> Amateurs. Today we're on Eichenwald, a beautiful map and home of the greatest hero of them all. Uh, that's Reinhardt, in case you didn't know. Come on, Gladiator, get your shield together. There are so many tips and tricks on Eichenwald, and today we're going to learn four of them. So shut up, listen up, and suit up, Gladiator. We're going on one hell of a ride. Look, even the best of us struggle at this point on Eichenwald. Point A is a defensive fortress meant to break even the toughest heroes. Good thing you're a gladiator. Follow these simple steps and you'll be swinging past the choke, behind the enemy lines, and raising hell before they even know what hit them. Now, let's see how it's done. First things first, we're gonna roll out of spawn and immediately turn right. While your team is struggling with the choke point, you're gonna roll down the back of the back streets back, all right, and jump off this ledge. <laughs> Okay, quick, look up. See that window? Hook your grapple to it and don't let go. Hold your forward and right key until you get to about here. It's important to swing up along this path, otherwise you're gonna be hitting this tree. Screw that tree, we don't like that tree. Once you've cleared the roof, let go of your grapple and keep holding forward so the swing momentum carries you over the wall. We're aiming for where the enemy team is usually defending, right behind this car. Hit your control key when you're above and slam down below. Pop your shield ability while the enemy is still bunched around you. Take some of the glory kills for yourself while your team moves in and cleans up the fight. And just like that, you're already on a roll. Wasn't that one fun? Wait, uh, has anyone seen the hamster? Hammond, I swear to God. That Hammond trick is so satisfying when you pull it off. But listen, I get it. It's risky. You need some serious wrecking balls to even think about doing it. So for the faint of heart, here's a handy defensive tip that doesn't need you to leave your cozy spot behind the choke. Everyone knows our boy Roadhog is the king of beef. <sighs> Do you ever shut up? He's huge and tanky and has a hook that will send the enemy squishies screaming for mercy. Your first priority is to make a pick on the enemy backline and win the fight early. One of the best ways to do this is combined with a fellow main tank and gladiator staple, Orissa. The famed halt hook combo is without a doubt the best way to guarantee kills on the enemy backline and something you should start doing right now. Let's see how it's done. When defending point A on Eichenwald, look at this spot right here. This is where the enemy DPS and healers like to peek out and get some free shots on your shield line. To get this party started, we need Orissa to throw her halt here, right at this window. The idea is to pull their backline out of cover and up in the air. When Orissa activates the halt, you can see these green lines. Quick, that's your cue to throw your hook directly into the center of the green orb. The timing of your hook and the pull of the halt is exactly the same. Do it right and you're guaranteed to grab someone and bring them to their demise. Congratulations, you just demonstrated more team work than the majority of players in competitive. That has to be one of my favorites. Nothing gets me hotter than seeing two tanks team up for world domination. Now, I know not all of us have friends. Torb, look, I'm sorry, but no one really wants you in their comp games. You know what? You can just go home. Take the day. But for those of you who don't have friends, here's a nifty trick you can do on your own using D.Va. D.Va self-destruct is an absolute game changer. Getting multiple kills with one alt can swing any fight into your favor, so it's worth getting creative. Follow these simple steps to learn a new way to deliver a D.Va bomb onto the enemy from somewhere they'll never expect. All right, let's take a closer look. A normal bomb has a travel time of two to three seconds while it's flying. This definitely looks the coolest, but it gives the enemy time to locate the bomb and position behind cover before it goes off. But did you know that you can actually push your D.Va bomb? By pushing it off this ledge, the enemy can't see the mech until it's just about to explode, increasing the chance of a juicy multi-kill. First things first, while the enemy is busy fighting your team on the payload, fly into position here and get as absolutely close to the ledge as possible. Once you're lined up, hit your alt and start tapping forward just a little so your pilot diva lands right behind the mech. If you don't, she will backflip off the bridge down to her likely death. Keep tapping forward to inch the mech closer till it clears the ledge and falls down on the enemy team below. Time it right and the bomb will explode while it's still mid-fall, taking most of the enemy team with it. There's a ton of places you can set up your own push bombs, so keep experimenting. You never know when you might be able to bamboozle your enemy. Pretty sneaky, am I right? 
whatever, I think is pretty cool. All right, it's been a lot of fun, but we need to wrap this up as I'm running out of time. Our last tank drill today needs no introduction. Oh baby, that's right, it's ah! Ryan time. Now, we all know the objective on Eichenwald is to capture and escort the payload, and on defense, it's your job to stop them. Follow these simple steps to charge right into your enemy's head, psych them out, and get an elimination before they even get a chance to hit the choke point. First things first, make your way all the way to the enemy spawn point. Take this route for the least chance of being detected until you get right here, right on the other side of the door. Take a couple steps back until you touch the busted bastion, and prepare to charge. As soon as the door is fully open, hit your charge and take one of them for a ride down the back streets back. But be careful, as you're charging, be sure to arc around this stairwell and aim for this sign right here. If you do it right, you'll exit your charge right before you hit the edge and send your opponent off the ledge to their embarrassing death. For an added bonus, have a friendly Lucio waiting in this room, and if the enemy team chases you down the street, they'll be perfectly ripe for a dirty boop. Talk about tilting. Congratulations, you just got a few eliminations before the game has even really started. Now, get your shields- Whoa, 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 wait, hold up. Are you a part of the Gladiator's Frontline yet? Well, you should be. Hit that subscribe button along with the bell to ensure you're first to report when a new video is enlisted. Okay, okay, now, get your shields up, Gladiator.